<clears throat> okay, we've got a beast here. Oh, boy. This is the beast of the forearm. I'm scared. It's kind of scary, but I'm going to try to make it not as scary. Okay. Like, like, good hands so, with you. when we're talking hands. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Um, so, we are looking at the forearm. Uh, the forearm has a lot of muscles because we have a lot of dexterity in our hand. So, to break this down, um, there's really two things that you can almost always count on with most of these muscles, and that is the movement of the hand and the location of the bones. Okay, so right now the arm is, we're looking at the posterior side of the arm. So, that in anatomical position, right, you're at the back side, the thumb would be lateral. So, on this side of the hand, all of the muscles that are here are going to extend the hand, which means you're going to go up. So, if you think about how that movement is, all of the muscles on that side are going to extend. Therefore, they're going to be called extensors. Those on the other side, which we'll look at second, are going to flex the hand, which is going to be that downward like softball pitching motion. Okay, and then the other thing we can think about is which side the bones are on on the hand. So the radius, remember, is thumb side, which we have lined up there. And the ulna, which is pinky side, which is lined up there. So knowing that, I usually start with the biggest muscle on the arm. Okay, the biggest muscle on the arm, lower arm anyway, is the brachioradialis. The brachioradialis muscle is right there on that lateral side, thumb side on top of the radius. Okay, so we're gonna follow the posterior side of the arm first, going towards the extensors. Okay, so the muscle that is touching the brachioradialis is the extensor carpi because it attaches to the carpals radialis so extensor carpi radialis now there are two parts to this the extensor carpi radialis longus which is the one that has the long tendon that runs down to the wrist and then the extensor carpi radialis brevis this is a mouthful that's a long yeah Whew. Right. It's a really long name. So those are both going to run um, right there, again, on the radius side, thumb side of the arm. Now, as we rotate to the front side, uh, or sorry, we're still on the posterior side. Yep. I keep looking at the top thinking it's the front. Well, it's the front of the screen. Uh, I guess that's You're true. viewing. You're right. viewing screen. So now we continue moving. We're still extensors. Okay, so we then find the extensor digitorum. Harry Potter. Or as I like to say, extensor digitorum. Because um, it goes right to your pointer finger. So I tend to think about this as the extensor digitorum. I don't know why. This is the one that you use when you're casting spells. <laughs> um, so it is going to head off to uh, most of your digits. Now, as we keep moving towards the ulna side, we have the extensor carpi ulnaris. Okay, so running along your pinky side. Extensor carpi, carpi ulnaris. ulnaris. Right. So now we're going to rotate. Go, you know, it'll balance better this way. We're going to look now at flexors. So remember, all of the muscles that are on this side of the arm are going to allow for a flexion of the hand. So most of them have the word flexor in it. And again, they're named after the radius and the ulna as we flip-flop them. So you can see that. Um, so we're again going to start at the brachioradialis. Okay, so that again, thumb side, you can see that line right up there. Um, right next to that is going to be the pronator teres. The pronator teres is going to help with pronation, right? It goes around mm -hmm. in a circle. Now we can go back to our normal-ish naming style. So the one right next to that is going to be the flexor carpi radialis. Flexor so carpi, carpi radialis. radialis. Now next to that is the muscle that is going to head to the palm. Therefore, it's called the palmaris longus. Literally goes straight to the palm, um, palmaris longus. And then I'm going to rotate this a little bit for you, Kareem because the next muscle is along the ulna almost perfectly. This is still a flexor muscle, so it's the flexor carpi ulnaris. Flexor carpi ulnaris. Correct. And then the one other thing that you need to see here is this little guy here that I can never say. The flexor retinaculum. Ooh, did I get it? Yes. The retinaculum right retinaculum. here. Um, this causes a lot of people, a lot of problems for people who have carpal tunnel um, and can sometimes be snipped in surgeries to treat carpal tunnel. You. So um, now there are two muscles here that we need to talk about the origins, the actions, and the insertions of. The first is that brachioradialis. There's a reason we keep starting there. Okay, so the brachioradialis, if we compare that to our humerus up here, is going to originate at the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. 
and then is going to insert down at the styloid process, we see that, of the radius, and its job is going to be to help flex the forearm. Now the other two are both flexors that we are, are looking at origins and insertions of, the flexor carpi radialis, which is going to originate on the medial epicondyle of the humerus and will insert at metacarpals two and three. Following it down, two and three. And this is gonna help to flex the wrist and then abduct the hand. Now the flexor carpi ulnaris, next one, one more. Move over. Oh, 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 Ooh, sorry. There you go. I know. It's sometimes hard. So sorry, folks. Twist that a little bit for you. So the flexor carpi ulnaris is going to originate also at the medial epicondyle of the humerus and also on the olecranon process of the ulna. Ulna. Oh, Can you see it? Oh, you're out of the screen, girl. Oh, okay. Go down. There you go. <laughs> so the olecranon process will also be an origination for the flexor carpi ulnaris. And then the insertion for the flexor carpi ulnaris are the carpal bones and then the fifth metacarpal. Carpal bones? Fifth, fifth metacarpal. metacarpal. And this is going to flex the wrist and adduct the hand. Whew. Woof. It's kind of exhausting. Woof. All right. Good luck.